Good morning guys. I've jumped in the car because it's very noisy in the house. I've got a one-year-old and actually it's noisy outside too because the next door neighbours are having a new driveway which, which is great for making content. So I'm here today to tell you the truth about building your own house extension with no experience. I feel like I've said that line so many times on my social. Uh, it's just because it's just second nature now. So, th what I mean by the truth, I get so many direct messages from my followers on Instagram, TikTok, and even YouTube as well, asking me so many questions about building their building an extension because they are planning on building their own. Now, this isn't a project I would recommend for everybody. I, I believe anybody can do anything with the right willpower and motivation and determination, right? But this project has really taken an impact on my life in so many different ways that I just wanted to explain what that was so everybody fully understands what they're getting into before they actually start digging the ground up <laughs> next to their house. In order for me to fully explain how this has impacted my life, I've got to go back to the start of the project. As some of you may know, who have been following me since I started the extension build, I started it in April 2022. I was working a nine to five, Monday to Friday office job as a marketing manager. And I'd been a marketing manager for 13 years. So I'd had no trade experience whatsoever. However, I had a lot of DIY experience. And what I mean by DIY experience is, you know, fitting skirting boards, painting skirting boards, architrave, maybe hanging a door or two, um, maybe changing a light fitting, uh, just small, uh, you know, putting laminate down, small jobs like that, which you would do in a house renovation project. That's the type of experience I had had before. Taking on a project like a house extension is a big deal. And before I did that, I actually built an extension to the garage which is in my garden. And I did that because, well, one, we needed the room, but also it was great experience for me to learn how to lay bricks and what goes into making a floor plate and building a roof. It was a really great way of learning without actually destroying some of my house first to do it. So I had some experience and then I did a test and a trial. And then April, 2022, I decided to start building my own house extension. I was working all hours to make this project come to life and that has a profound effect on your life. When you're devoting so much time, energy, efforts, heart, brain power, everything you can imagine that you have to give to a project like this is a lot. It's, it's draining, it's exciting, I personally love to le learn new things. So yeah, the project was ongoing for until November of the same year. So that's a long time. Whilst all this is going on, my, my newborn son wasn't even one at this point, was growing up in a house that was cold and damp and, and dusty. And, and obviously he would be in the warm rooms and the clean rooms, but it was all always just a worry. It was always very stressful. Um, and then on top of that, I had this full-time job that I was doing as well. And I was trying to make sure that the house extension met regulations. And I was working with building control and I was ringing people that I knew. And I was watching a crazy amount of YouTube uh, until late at night, until I had to go to sleep. And, and then it would be the same again the next day. Those are the foundations, if you will, of what it's like to build your own house extension. It's, it's, it's really tough going and it takes a long time and it takes everything that you've got if you're not in the trade already. Um, but, you know, whilst all this is going on, 
I'm starting to feel like being outside and doing building work and DIY work is something that I truly love doing. Now, you see so much online, people saying, find the one thing that you love doing and and uh, and you'll never work another day in your life. Well, um, I've never had that feeling um, until I was building this house extension. I absolutely loved it. Although it was extremely tiring and stressful because of the living situation, I actually really loved it and enjoyed it. So I was contemplating quitting my nine to five marketing career to go into some form of construction or DIY. And as of January 2023, that's exactly what I did. So I quit my full time marketing job in order to pursue another life, a completely new life in an area of work that I'd never experienced before and 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 it's so exciting. So I have started my own handyman service. So I'm doing lots of DIY for people in the local area, a lot of which actually have seen my channel and, and, and have and <laughs> have wanted me to come round because of the work that I've done on my own house and they wanted to meet me and talk to me about it, which has been really, really fun and exciting. So what that means though, financially, as you can imagine, I've taken a bit of a hit at the beginning of this year, which has meant that all of my projects have slowed right down, which means that the kitchen diner extension project has hit a bit of a brick wall just because of the finances. So I've got all of my plans in place of what I want the kitchen diner to look like but I just need a couple of months to make sure I've got the got the stability back before I can just start investing in more materials. And as anyone who's buying materials right now knows, those are extremely, extremely expensive. And whilst the kitchen diner project's going on, I've also got the garden transformation project underway, which I actually have a lot of the materials on site for, which is great because I don't have to buy anything new right now. I can just crack on with the old bricks that I removed from the house when we knocked down the internal wall and we, we removed the old extension. So I've got some materials that I can use to help save some money. I've got loads of building sand. I've got loads of bags of cement as well. So I can do my footings. I've got ballast as well. So I can do my footings and I can do, uh, I can build walls for the garden. So there's, there's plenty I can get on with. And meanwhile, I will be doing my handyman work as well. And that type of content will be making it a debut. It will be featuring in my content as well on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Uh, when I'm working on really cool projects, I'm actually working on a really cool project right now. Uh, and that will be shown in my content. And there's one more thing just need to say, which has actually already started to be seen on my socials. And that is the solar panel installation. So I'm getting quite a few messages about this solar panel installation. When I left my job in January, I, I met with a friend of mine who has been an electrician for many, many years, and he got fully qualified and accredited in solar panel installation. Now, he knows that that's a two man job and he didn't have anyone to help him. So it was music to his ears that I had left my marketing career to go into more of a construction industry. I've also got a domestic electrical installers qualification from many years ago. So I know what I'm doing with electrics. I'm great with building and DIY. So he offered me to be part of his company as a co-owner and the company is called SG Solar. It's a very new company. My friend has been doing solar panels for quite a while now. So he is fully qualified, fully certified, and I'm going along with him on jobs to help him install these panels. My aim is to get my own qualifications in solar panel installation so that we're both equally qualified and we can both do a top job. So that is an update on me and my life and the truth of building your own house extension. It's not easy. 
it's going to take everything you've got financially, spiritually, emotionally. <laughs> it's going to take every bit of determination to, to pull off a project like this. And some people will probably say, why not just pay somebody and have no hassle? And for 99% of people, that's a fantastic option. In fact, that's the best option. But if you're like me and you love, you love to learn new things and you're not scared of investing the time and commitment into your own projects, then it can be an extremely rewarding thing to do. If I hadn't built this house extension, not only would I not have the unbelievably supportive following that I've got right now, I wouldn't have realised what my true passion was, which is working in construction and working outdoors. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope it helps people decide if they're actually going to attempt their own project in the future. And I'll see you in part two of the Garden Transformation video. Thank you.